Well, the conflict over a natural gas pipeline in northern British Columbia is intensifying. Protesters have built camps to block the pipeline from going through Wet'suwet'en territory. Once constructed, that pipeline would go from northeastern B.C. to the coast in Kitimat. Our Greg Rasmussen is at the protest in B.C. On this road that we're on now, um, a number of people f who are opposed to the pipeline parked a number of cars blocking the road. On the other side of that, the RCMP were working along with contractors. They've been pushing in and dismantling the camps that are along the road and preventing access to the pipeline site. Once that reached an impasse, the RCMP brought in additional forces. Uh, they've been lined up here for some time. Uh, they also brought in heavy equipment and it's been clearing a path. They actually bulldozed uh, around it. They moved vehicles and uh, now finally uh, after hours of the standoff it appears that most of the vehicles are now coming out. Just a few minutes ago we went down the road uh, with a, a woman who was trying to retrieve her vehicle. She was told that she wouldn't be able to get it at the moment and that she'd simply have to wait while uh, they built the road around it and she would eventually be allowed to get her vehicle. She and the people with her were told that uh, they had to get off the road or they would be arrested. They had a number of minutes to comply. In the end, they decided to come back here. And now people are waiting to see what happens if they will get their, their vehicles back. Uh, meanwhile, the peers, uh, more RCMP vehicles are backed up and will be making their way out of here. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, near Houston, B.C. Meanwhile, right across the country, protesters are blocking rail routes between Toronto, Ottawa and Montreal. Now, these blockades are in solidarity with those opposing the coastal gas link pipeline. These blockades are forcing weekend rail travelers at Toronto's Union Station to find alternative modes of transportation. A little frustrated, but there's protests on the line. There's not really much you can do about it. I tried to go yesterday but it happened like the same thing happened again like it got cancelled so they put me on a train for today but I'm assuming it's cancelled again because it's, it's signs are saying that they are so it's frustrating. So I'm familiar a little bit familiar anyway with the the ongoing protests that have and you know basically I support the cause so I'll take some inconvenience if I have to. Via Rail says passengers should check online for departures and arrival updates. It says travelers affected by the disruption, well, they are going to get automatically refunded, but they also warn that the process could take up to 10 days.